Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Network Monitoring Part 2. Today we're going to be talking about active network monitoring tools, then I'm going to move on to wireless monitoring tools, and we're going to conclude with environmental monitoring. We have a fair amount of ground to cover, not a whole lot of time, so let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by talking about active network monitoring tools. Port scanners are used to scan a network for open ports and protocols. The information that a port scanner gathers is vital information if you want to harden the network. Port scanners are a great method of finding vulnerabilities in the network infrastructure, allowing the network administrator to plug those vulnerabilities before they become a security breach. I do have to issue a word of caution. You should only use a port scanner on a network or system that you are authorized to scan. Port scanning is a possible sign of someone trying to breach a system and can lead to problems if you're not authorized to scan that system. You don't want to have to try and explain to an information security specialist why you were scanning their network if you're not authorized to scan it. A little bit different than a port scanner are applications that use interface monitoring or packet flow monitoring. These are usually deployed as an active software tool to monitor and analyze network traffic within a network segment. They're commonly called packet sniffers or protocol analyzers. They allow for an in-depth look at what traffic is on the network and may reveal security issues that the network administrator can then mitigate. They help to identify top talkers on a network segment. Top talkers are those nodes or applications that generate the most amount of traffic. Packet sniffers can help to identify top listeners on a network segment. A top listener is that interface or the interfaces that are receiving the most network traffic or put another way, those interfaces that are utilizing the most bandwidth for receiving packets. This can help an administrator when they have determined that load balancing might be needed on the network. Microsoft Message Analyzer and Wireshark are examples of free packet flow monitoring tools. Now let's move on to wireless monitoring tools. And we're going to begin with the Wi-Fi analyzer. A Wi-Fi analyzer is a similar tool to a protocol analyzer, but only for wireless networks. It sniffs out packets on wireless networks and gives you statistics on those packets that it sees. It can check for bandwidth usage, channel usage, top talkers, top listeners, etc., just like a packet sniffer can. Wi-Fi analyzers can also identify networks by passively scanning the radio frequencies to determine where traffic is coming from. Given enough time, a Wi-Fi analyzer can also identify hidden networks, or those that you don't know about. A Wi-Fi analyzer can also infer non-beaconing networks based on data traffic over the radio frequencies. They may not be able to discover the SSID, but they can tell the network administrator that something is passing traffic there. Another type of wireless monitoring tool are wireless survey tools. They're most commonly used as a design tool for setting up high quality wireless networks. When used in conjunction with mapping tools, the survey tools can help to establish the required amount of access points to get the proper amount of coverage, the ideal antenna placement, and the optimum amount of channel overlap. Wireless survey tools can also help to identify possible sources of radio frequency interference, or RFI. Wireless survey tools are often used to eliminate wireless network performance and security issues before they ever have a chance to occur. Let's move on to environmental monitoring. A network's health can be affected by more than just a network interface failing or a possible security breach. Network and systems administrators also need to be concerned about environmental factors. Some of those factors include the quality and quantity of electrical power being supplied to their equipment. 
and the amount of heat in the rooms that equipment is kept, and also with that, the humidity level. Power monitoring tools are systems and tools that can be used to evaluate the amount of and the quality of the electrical power being delivered to the system. They're often deployed with or alongside an uninterruptible power supply, or UPS. The monitor will issue an alert when an issue with electrical power has been identified, giving the network or system administrator a chance to rectify the problem before any equipment has been damaged. All electrical components are designed to operate within a specific heat range. Not only are they designed to operate within that heat range, but all electrical equipment will generate some heat while they're in operation. And the harder that equipment works, the more heat they will generate. This is where heat monitors come into play. The heat monitor allows an administrator to control the temperature levels before they become an issue. Humidity is another item that network administrators need to keep in mind. Too little humidity increases the risk of electrostatic discharge, or ESD, but too much humidity increases the risk of condensation on equipment, and your electrical components do not like that condensation. Humidity monitors allow administrators the ability to control the humidity level through the proper means before it becomes an issue. Now that concludes this session on Network Monitoring Part 2. I talked about active network monitoring tools, then I moved on to some wireless monitoring tools, and I concluded with a brief discussion on environmental monitoring. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I look forward to doing another one.